Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this very very mild March day we're doing some walk around video tours of our new and used stock and this particular one is a van that we've been very very lucky enough to buy just a couple of days ago so it's just come in and it's a late 2017 on a 67 plate Adria Twin 640 SLX. Now the Adria Twins they were the original fixed bed van conversion back in 2002 Adria invented the uh, fixed bed panel van and they still to this day uh, are thought of as probably the best fixed bed panel vans in Europe if not in my opinion in the world they really really are super things and this really really is a super van so the 640 SLX is based on the 6.34 meter chassis same wheelbase as a 6 meter one uh, it just has a slightly longer overhang at the back now bearing in mind you're going to have to overhang a parking space a bit with a 6 meter van anyway overhanging a little bit more is probably worth it because that way you get lengthways beds so the six meter panel vans tend to have transverse beds so if you get an out of bed you have to jump over the other person whereas the 640s have lengthways beds or this slx does anyway which is very very popular so you can use it as single beds or a large double bed to the rear with bucket loads of storage underneath so looking at this particular one, this has done uh, 10,000 miles from new. It has every conceivable optional extra on it. It's a fantastic van in immaculate condition. One owner from new, full service history, all the extras you could want and more. Um, everything don't have to spend a penny on this it's a superb thing uh, and it's priced at 46.95 now if you were to buy a new adria twin supreme 640 slb which is the new equivalent of this today without the extras this one's got you're going to be paying 60,000 pounds then you're going to be spending thousands of pounds kitting it up so this one at 46.95 we think it represents very good value and uh, it's an impeccably nice van so having a look at it it's in metallic silver quite hard to tell i know with this uh, sunny uh, unusual weather conditions that we're having but gorgeous metallic silver in unmarked condition you've got daytime running lights led ones you've got the high gloss black grille style pack with the adria badge color coded bumper with the silver spoiler front fog lights all looking very very good uh, she's a 2.3 130 horsepower manual which is plenty good enough to, to propel this at any speed you may want to but if you want to remap it for more power you can but we never see them done because it's just not necessary so walking down the near side, habitation door is on the uh, opposite side, being a European van. I see it's a great looking van, we've got the black uh, Fiat alloy wheels, uh, 16 inch ones those I think. Um, three and a half tonne this one, so anybody can drive it on a normal car licence, 2.2 wide, 6.34 long and height is about that high, so uh, suitably high. Um, we got mains hook up flap there on the roof, you probably can't see it but there's a solar panel up there as well on the roof. We've got the wastewater drain point there. These are fully winterized vans and people do go skiing in their Adria twins. So they're very, very well set up. Adria Slovenian company, but uh, they're one of the best selling manufacturers all through Europe and they sell bucket loads of vans in Germany uh, because they do fixed bed vans better than anybody else. Double glazed windows all the way around, which are uh, tinted. We've got the toilet cassette locker door there. So it's mid bathroom fixed rear bed singles or a large double and a front lounge for a European layout flue there for your heating system so you've got the digitally controlled Truma gas and electric blown air heating that runs off electric if you're hooked up gas if you're not or both at the same time if you want to heat up really quickly wastewater dump point down there and then the uh, freshwater tank is internal now this one has had uh, uprated springs on the back so you can see how it sits up a bit at the back um, so amongst the many many really really good modifications or extras this van has had fitted we've got uprated heavy duty double leafs which both improve the ride and stop the van sitting on its bump stop so if you are loading things in the back you'll find your van's not crashing around it's handling better so it's a really nice thing to have also got front mud flaps that have been added as well there there's a uh, satellite dish which we don't check or guarantee on the roof as well coming around to the back we've got a very neatly installed high level reversing camera where they've replaced the uh, the original rear high level brake light with a reversing camera 
we've got a really good tow bar. Now I've not seen one like this before. This is new on me, this. So you've got a tow bar, but what you can do is, is you can sort of gather there, and most people, they don't tow things. You could tow a car with that if you want, but most people would put a bike rack on there. But when you put a bike rack on there, of course, it's gonna be stop you opening your rear doors. So this one, you can simply articulate the tow bar and the bike rack around to there so you can still access your rear doors. It's a really good idea. Uh, it's been done by uh, UKTowBars.net, who I've not heard of, but it's a smart thing in fairness. I'm going to recommend this to people. Um, coming around to the back doors, part of the joys of owning a van conversion, uh, as well as the practicality, uh, subtlety and uh, zero chance of damp, is you can open up the rear doors and let all the air flow in, and you can load things through the rear doors as well. So opening up, we'll see the inside on this one is what they call the Titan interior. Now I'm not sure if it was standard or optional. I think it might have been optional on the SLX for this year, but this is what they offered in, in other models as the Titan, which I really like. So you've got light white cabinet or off-white cabinet uh, with grey silver um, woodwork. Makes it very, very light, very similar to the new twin Supremes that are around today as well, rather than most of these at this age, which had the woody coloured cabinet work. So that's really, really smart now in the back there we'll have a look at the beds from the inside but you've got two long single beds and then you can infill the middle now the previous owners have manufactured this headboard here so you can mount that into these bits and have a full width rear headboard as well which is a nice idea just to stop you having to lean on your blinds but you don't have to keep that or you don't have to have it on but it's a nice thing Looking underneath the beds, you've got massive storage space, which is the big plus side of having a fixed bed van conversion, or one of them. You both get a good night's sleep, and you've got a huge storage locker. Now, that's taken up partially at the moment by this Outdoor Revolution pump-up air beam drive away awning. Now, because this was a buy-in, we've managed to buy it with loads and loads of kit as well. So this will stay with the van. We're not going to set that up or check it. We're not going to guarantee it, uh, but it's with the van and it's yours if you buy this one along with the mains cable as well so everything you need is already in it we've got the loose fit carpets all through there now you can um, fold this bed up to there just clips up on that clip there uh, remove these cross bits and the infill and then you've gained full height rear storage there as well so if you've got a grand piano to move you can do it with a twin slx your fresh water tank is boxed in there filled up from the outside that stops it freezing up uh, and then your gas locker you've got a large european gas locker so everything in this is the same size and capability and capacity as the big coach built vans but in a smaller size um, the van not the capacities that is and among that thing you've got a very big gas locker and another bonus of this being a buy-in it's got twin 11 kilo gas load bottles in it so these are you know, they're normal gas bottles but instead of when it runs out like a color gas bottle you have to take it into a color gas agent uh, pay them a large amount of money uh, to exchange it for a full bottle of course color gas agents are always closed as well or they've run out of bottles in this one you fill it up with lpg gas 22 litres of gas in total. It's a massive capacity. I've got the same thing in my own van. That could last you a year, two years, depending on how much off hookup camping you're doing. Uh, and to refill these, you've got a gauge on either bottle there, along with open and closes. Uh, so you can switch easily between the bottles. Uh, and what we do is when one is empty, next time we pass an LPG filling station, which is where you fill them up at a petrol station at an LPG gas pump, of which there are hundreds, if not thousands, um, all through Europe and in the UK. And you just fill it up through that gas low filler nozzle which is very neatly fitted on a bracket underneath the rear bumper which is very very smart benefit of this much cheaper gas uh, to refill these these uh, two 11 kilo bottles you'll be paying about 15 quid for the gas instead of 60 quid for the same in color gas and you can fill these up with adapters anywhere across europe which of course you can't do with your color gas because color are only a british company so that's a really really good feature that's about 750 pounds worth there the awning, probably £500 worth when it was new. Uh, the tow bar, six, £700 worth. Uh, the solar panel on the roof, another five, six hundred quid's worth. So it really adds up. Uh, and all in immaculate condition. So it's a really good buy, this, for someone. Um, anyway, let's carry on having a look around. It's hard not to oversell these vans, but when you get a van that's this nice, um, it's just a really good bit of stock. We're very excited about it. So nothing you'd have to add because it's got the silver colour coded 3.7 metre Fiamma F65 awning on the roof there and that's 
you, what you use to attach your driveway awning as well. You just wind this out and slide your driveway awning into that groove on the front of the canopy. Wind the canopy back in again, pump up your driveway awning, shazam. Um, but you don't have to use that, of course, if you don't, uh, if you don't want to. You've got more extras, external TV point and external plug sockets here. So we've got an external main socket. So if you're hooked up to the mains, you want to plug some things in outside, you just plug it in there. If you're on a campsite with its own booster, you can plug in there. And you've even got a little 12 volt running off the leisure battery um, socket on the outside as well. Fresh water fill up point there. Your fresh water tank is 100 litres plus. Same size or bigger than the coach built. Rear mud flaps have been fitted as well. They're not standard. Uh, fridge vents. Going back to 2017, uh, Adria's had a three-way fridge freezer that will run off cheaply from your gas from your gas bottle when you're not on main hookup and not take any battery power. It'll run off main hookup itself and it'll run off the engine when you're driving and that's a really big fridge freezer. Um, awning light on the outside, drip stop to stop you getting wet and an electric step that will put itself away when you're driving. Let's have a little look at the cab spec now. So going into the cab, we've got these uh, Remis Concertina cab lines. Adria are uh, probably the only company who still use these frameless ones, I like, instead of having the frame here like the others. This is just a big fan that comes up. Really good idea. We've got leather gear stick and steering wheel, which is very tactile, only 9,500 miles or so. We've got the high level monitor for the reversing camera that clips over your rear view mirror. And up there, we've also got a little uh, microphone. Uh, that's from your uh, Pioneer Bluetooth stereo system that will do your phone calls as well. Uh, on top of that, you've got twin airbags, uh, cruise control, air conditioning as you'd expect, and front lines as well. All in absolutely spotless condition outside. Let's have a look at the inside. So, coming in through your big sliding door, sliding door stops in two places. You can stop it there to cover your kitchen, or you can bring it all the way back. Inside the sliding door, you'll find a sliding door fly screen. And then we come in and you'll see the really nice modern colour scheme in this. So we've got light and dark grey two-tone upholstery. Uh, we've got the white and the grey and the silver cabinet work. Really, really nice. Big skylight up there. Storage over the cab. The new Supremes have got a panoramic roof light, but that was a later invention. But I like having that bit of storage up there myself. I think that's, that's if anything, it's, it's more useful. Um, coming in, we've got a big table. And this has got a leaf that will come out so you can sit four people around the table. Looking down the van, we can see it's a very smart, modern place to be. We've got a very simple control panel above the door there that tells you simply on and off, lights on and off, water pump on and off, and gauges for your fresh and waste water tank and your batteries, incredibly easy to use. Two forward facing seats that have seat belts. Now this area turns into a small single bed so you can just drop the table down onto its lower runner, take off the lower half, feet on there, and then make it into a bed. It's, it's better if you have extra people sleep outside in your driveway awning really, but you can sleep one there, probably more of a kid or a teenager, but you can sleep one, maybe an adult curled up a little bit. Um, but seat belts for four, sleeping for two and a half to three. Nice high level cupboard doors with up lighters, LED down lighters. Uh, we've got an Avtex TV now, uh, audio visual equipment and awnings when they're left in, unlike some dealers, we will leave these in, these are yours, but we're not going to check them. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. It's a modern one. Uh, it's an Avtex uh, 19 inch DRS TV, all in spot loss condition. Across from there, we'll see the solar panel charge controller with two USB chargers uh, from your solar panel. And we've got a 12 volt socket and a main socket to plug your TV into. It is a 12 volt television. Now on the roof it is a MaxView ViewCube auto satellite dome. It's about 1300 quid's worth maybe, something like that. Um, again, it's audio visual. We won't check it. We'll leave it on. I'm sure it works fine. We can have a play with it with you if you want. But if it works, it works. It doesn't, it doesn't. We're not going to spend thousands replacing audio visual equipment. If you want a normal TV aerial, we can fit that for you as well or instead. Um, that TV's got built in FreeSat, so it will decode your satellite and uh, play it on the TV, which is very, very cool. So you don't need an extra satellite box or anything like that. Nice uh, plastic sort of surround for the windows, no dated curtains to get in the way. Looking at the kitchen, 
It's a compromise on these European vans. It's probably the kitchen. They don't tend to cook inside very much. Um, you've got lift up extra leaf there for more workspace. And of course you can use your table for workspace. And then on top, we've got two burner gas hob and a sink. This van's just come in, it's not been cleaned yet, but it's absolutely spotless, but this little bit of mark there, but uh, outside of that, absolutely perfect condition. Big deep drawers, so you can carry any extra cooking equipment you may wish to, hob top Dutch ovens, things like that, your barbecue of course, you can carry under the bed and use outside. Now, fridge freezer, let's have a quick look at that while we're doing the kitchen. Big three-way slimline fridge freezer, ah, which I can't do with that hand there we go <laughs> so there's a really big goes right the way down to the floor comes all the way up with a big freezer compartment and uh, that's an automatic energy selector so just turn it on if it's on auto mode it'll run off gas if you're not hooked up mainly if you are hooked up or the engine when you start it and it'll do all of that automatically above that you've got a good size cupboard where you can keep your food and things that's your kitchen so Europeans don't tend to cook so much in vans, but it's a very usable kitchen. Now, where is the bathroom, I hear you say? Now, this was a year when Adria borrowed from Globecar, normally Globecar copy Adria. Well, this was a year when Adria copied Globecar and put in what I really like, this bathroom. See, so you look down, there's lots of space here. Uh, that's because the bathroom's a hideaway bathroom. So when you don't want the bathroom, it's all hidden behind these sliding doors. And when you do want the bathroom, you just make it appear. You say the magic Slovenian words, Shazam, that's Slovenian for here it is. And you can see you've got a shower tray underneath of there, underneath that floor section. You've got a nice big tech for cassette toilet, a drain point, points, and your shower tap stroke tap hose thing over there, which will simply extend up and clip onto there. We've got a rail for hanging your towels or your hanging things, uh, drip drying stuff. And then behind here, this big mirror we've got shelves for your shower gels and such like and then underneath of that we've got a good size sink which is just a flip down one to say space but it's a very big sink drains down the back there nice, nice and easy that's it all in lovely condition and a really good size so when you want a bathroom you've got a good size one and when you don't say shazum which is the opposite and it disappears there you go and now you've got all the floor space here instead really really neat final feature which is a big feature of this van is your rear bedroom area so you've got two massive beds now at the minute i've got some infill boards and cushions on them that's the rear headboard that the uh, previous owner has manufactured that fits on there if you're not going to use that leave it at home throw it away you can take those two brackets off but it does cover the back so you can use it if you wish infill cushions so you can either have your bed like this as single beds with one infill cushion or you can remove that infill cushion and then you've got like a little shelf there to put your drinks on or previous owners the things they've done to this van are incredibly good they've also made this which is an extra infill and what you can do with this is drop it in there and then they've had this cushion here manufactured and then you've turned this whole area into a huge double bed it's really really good now if you do that you do lose easy access to your wardrobe which is underneath of here so underneath the foot of the bed you've got a really big wardrobe hanging space on one side and then the other side you've got shelving space so you lose dead easy access to that with that central ink fill in but you can always take it out during the day um and the other thing is it's a bit of a hop up onto the bed if you've got it all filled in but you can always um just have it, have it like this and just step in and then it's dead easy lots of cupboard space back there lots of windows two on the side big hecky roof light in the roof and two opening rear windows as well lots of storage pockets for your phones and your books and things like that at the back as well we've got plug sockets knocking around previous owners have made these uh, little storage things here probably for your phone or maybe for your cup of tea i'd put them up there that's a really good idea so what they've done they've done very very well and uh, it's all removable but it's, it's good fairness it's really good you've got a second tv point up here if you want to you can put a bracket and a tv on there and really nice lighting again all the way around up lighters 
down lighters. It's just a lovely, lovely place to be and enough headroom to sit up in bed and read a book as well. All in immaculate condition. So, have a little look back around there. This is she. So she is the 2017, maybe 2018, I think it's 2017, on a 67 plate Adria Twin 640 SLX at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. It will not be here for long. It's done 9,500 miles. It's priced at 46,995. It's one owner from new with loads of service history. And it's got aircon, cruise control, cab blinds, reversing camera, leather gear stick and steering wheel, alloy wheels, and the optional metallic silver paint. It's got on the roof a um, MaxView View Cube auto satellite dome that we don't check or guarantee, and a very expensive Avtex television, which is the same. It's got a solar panel. Um, external sockets it's got the awning it's got the tow bar that you can put a bike rack on or tow whatever you want with it uh, it's got the really expensive gas low refillable gas bottles what hasn't it got oh it's got an alarm as well as you can just see the little alarm sensors over there so what hasn't it got nothing really it's got everything you could want and it's priced at 46.95 that will be with a 12 month warranty full engine service full habitation service as well and a full valet not that it really needs it um so this is at highbridge caravans devon branch we are the devon branch of highbridge it's still just about in lockdown we are here and available for any questions you can comment on this youtube video you can ring up but our phones at Mar highbridge not marquis highbridge devon are diverted to somerset um so if you ring up ask to speak to the Devon branch, reference their gorgeous Adri Twin 640 um, S something X, um, SLX. So ask to speak to the Devon branch and we're here to help. Or you can put in a uh, internet inquiry through the Highbridge Caravans website about the uh, 2017 Adri Twin 640 SLX at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon at 46.995. We're here to work out any part exchange prices, finance figures, um, and if you really love the van, you want to reserve it subject to viewing when we're uh, allowed to do viewings in a couple of weeks or so, uh, we can take a refundable holding deposit on it. Or if you just want to buy it, we can uh, we can sell it to you. So any questions, give us a buzz. Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.